Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about environmental studies. Today's our topic is deficiency diseases. A, children, a person may be getting enough food to eat but sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrients and this continues for a long period of time. The person may suffer from its deficiency. Yes. A large number of people in the world are suffering from the malnutrient. They eat less amount of nutrients than which their body requires. If this continuation for a long period, they may suffer from malnutrition. As this results of malnutrition, these persons or people or children may suffer with many deficiency diseases. Yes. Deficiency is one or more nutrients can cause disease or disorder in our body. Disease that occur due to the lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases. Children, if a person does not get enough proteins in his or her food for a long time or he or she is likely to have stunted growth, swelling of face, discolorization of hair, skin diseases and diarrhea. These are the some of the examples of deficiency diseases. Let us see some of the deficiency diseases here. Yes, mushrooms. mushrooms. This mushrooms is caused due to the deficiency of carbohydrates in food. The deficiency of mushrooms, the skin gets dry and wrinkled. Mainly it affects to the children below the age of one year. This is a type of deficiency. Let us see another type of deficiency that is beriberi. This beriberi is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin B. It mainly affects the nerves and muscles of the body. It reduces heavy loss of our body. The patient stomach may be disturbed as well as. Let us see another type of disease that is casferocar. It is caused of proteins and carbohydrates in the children. It mainly affects after the breastfeeding is stopped and results in improper growth. For this passier occur, the children get swelling of legs, stomach and face. Sometimes the liver gets enlarged. It affects discolorization of skin and seen patches on the skin. Let us see another type of deficiency disease that is night blindness. This night blindness is caused mainly the deficiency of vitamin A. A person who is suffering from night blindness cannot see properly in dim light. It may lead to, sometimes it may lead to blindness also. Anemia. Anemia is caused due to the deficiency of iron in the body. It decreases the level of hemoglobin in the body. An anemia person gets tired quickly, lose pain, Losses appetite has dark circles under the eye. Let us see another type of deficiency disease that is scurvy. The scurvy is caused by the deficiency of vitamin C. In scurvy, there we can see swollen and bleeding gums can be seen on the body. Goiter. Goiter is caused due to the deficiency of iodine. It affects the thyroid gland in the throat and swells up. It also affects the physical and mental growth in children. Let us see what is rickets. The rickets is caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. In this disease, the bones become soft and many times it leads to deformities or fractures like bow-shaped legs. Children, if the diet is deficient in both carbohydrates and proteins, for a long period, the growth may stop completely. Such a person becomes very lean and thin and so weak that he or she may not be even able to move. Deficiency of vitamins and minerals may also result in certain diseases or disorders. Let us see what are the sources to avoid these deficiency diseases and which are the food items are source for these deficiency diseases. Yes. For example, Vitamin A, the deficiency disease is night blindness. It is reduced the source of food by leafy vegetables, carrot, tomato, pumpkin, mango, fish, egg, etc. The vitamin D, the def it causes the deficiency of beriberi. The main sources of 
this uh, deficiency is the loss of food items such as potato bean banana and meat vitamin c the deficiency disease it causes the deficiency disease such as scurvy means you know that the spots on the skin spongy gums and bleeding etc to reduce this deficiency we have to take such as citrus fruits like orange lemon guava papaya tomato carrot potato cabbage spinach etc vitamin d vitamin d it causes the disease such as bones becomes thin and brittle children if we have the for this vitamin d the sources of food are rich in fish liver oil egg milk and milk products exposed to sunshine these are the some of the food sources which are rich in the deficiency of some vitamins like vitamin vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c and d so children we need to have a little of all kinds of this food every day to get all this nutrients and roughage etc this type of diet we can call as a balanced diet children every day we need a balanced diet and this balanced diet should contain 50% of carbohydrates 35% of fats 12% of proteins 3% of vitamins and minerals and a sufficient amount of water thank you this is nanduram and we are from sono academy